you guys we're just gonna jump right into it because I gotta get my son from school um, he wasn't feeling good so I'm gonna go through this haul really quick um, just to let you know guys know I did trust in Walmart one more time to deliver my food um, and they did um, so here's the delivery uh, receipt thing scheduled delivery was at 10 o 10 o'clock he came around like 10 06 which is okay a Michelle which is me um, and so um, the things that I got for the freezer I just got everything kind of separated um, for the freezer was these good humor cookies and cream um, loaded chocolate crumble ice cream bars they come six in a pack got some of those and then I also got the good humor um, strawberry shortcake ones but they were out of them so that got the 12 12 bars of blue ribbon classics strawberry shortcake and that's really really good um, I did notice this on the side so I'll be checking for um, just quality con control check <laughs> um, and see if I need to return this box or not if nothing's open then I'm definitely gonna keep it I'm not gonna be like complaining about that um, but anyways things happen um, and he had like all the food in the back of his car so uh, you already know stuff happens if it's not damage damage then I can definitely live with it I did get some banquet brown and serve turkey 10 fully cooked sausage links these are for just when I'm getting ready to go to work and I need something to eat really quick um, and I am switching back to uh, just eating turkey and ground turkey um, because all this meat right here that's for bae but we're gonna get right into it and then I got also got myself some and turkey bacon from tar uh, from Target from Sam's Choice, which is Walmart, part of Walmart. You guys know that. Um, and then I got these uh, these uh, chicken taquitos. There's 23 in the box, and um, it says it has more chicken now. So I normally eat these with um, queso, but I couldn't find the queso that I wanted. Um, I'm probably gonna look up a recipe and see. Um, if I can make some homemade queso, that would be great. And then I got two packs of this ground beef. Like I said, all this stuff right here is for babe. Um, I'll probably like maybe once or twice out of the month, I'll, I'll, you know, cheat and eat some, you know, red meat. Um, but it won't be like all the time. Um, so I got two packs of those. And then I got bars, classic bologna. I got Bars Classic Jumbo Franks. You guys never told me that Bars was like really good. Like their products are really good. Um, and they're cheap. A dollar for each one of those at Walmart. Um, so I got those. And I also saw those on Sam and Cat. My sis, um, she was hauling these too as well um, on one of her her grocery haul videos and that's how I noticed. I was like dang uh, that is cheap for some Bars um hot dogs and stuff like that so anyways i have some eckerich smoked sausage here this is skinless um and then we have original premium sausage and then we have and these are just the sausage links and i also i, I actually uh wanted to substitute these for the owens and i guess they didn't have the owens so they gave me the great value which is okay um because he'll eat it anyways we got the owens original pork sausage patties now when I do have my cheat day I'm definitely gonna have a couple of those because Owen's sausage is really really good um, then I have this hickory smoked bacon you guys know that I always like messing around with the, the black label bacon the maple bacon but they are always out of it like any store that I go to they're out of it so I just start um, I start seeing this on um, Walmart and then I was like let me go ahead and grab some of that and we we're well, not we, but he will try it. And if I have a cheat day, I will try just like maybe one or two slices. Then I got some New York strip steak, which was $21. <laughs> um, but we got these. I remember, babe, he put them on the grill. Whenever he put them on the grill, like, yes, I'm going to dive into one of these. Because they are so freaking good on the grill. And then he marinated them. They were so freaking good. And so I'm not going to miss out on that one. And I got some chicken breast, then sliced, then we sliced it because I'm going to be making me some salads and I'm going to be making like um, chicken fried chicken out of these, just like a couple of meals out of these. And um, yeah, so um, whenever I do make my salad, excuse the pan, that's babes, he need to wash that. 
but when I do make my salads I will definitely um, show you guys I'm just going to incorporate it into one of my daily vlogs or my vlogs <laughs> um, and then so I have a high protein chicken drumsticks we have we buy these whole ones like this because sometimes we we barbecue them we bake them and stuff like that and then I put mom onto the game on how to go to Walmart and just grab some of these these are only 563 that's cheap for how many drumsticks do we get two four six eight ten twelve fourteen drumsticks you guys that's all I call like let me see it's just me and babe and then kid so babe they will have to I'll have least two so six a piece like two drumsticks a piece so that's two meals and then plus you have three left um or four left so no three left i think is that a chicken <laughs> is, that, is that a chicken but yes we um you can have at least three meals out of that out of this i think three meals too as well with the the um uh, steak you know that's a give or take so for snacks you guys know like we're basically cutting down on our snacks and so only bought two of each things um and then i bought some fall like a fall a uh, little preparation thing for me and my son to make and then i'm gonna put it in our cabinet so whenever we want some of this um quick bread we can definitely have some so first before i show you guys the quick quick bread i bought some of these fudge mints because they remind me so much oh my gosh of the girl scouts mint cookies and i can never find another girl scout like where we normally go they have a lot of girl scouts out there trying to sell cookies but now nowadays you can't really find girl scout uh cookies or anything like that unless you know somebody that uh know somebody that has a girl scout in their family so um i just opt to get these great value fudge mint ones they are so freaking good so if you're into the the fudge mint ones with the girl scouts um you definitely will love these because they taste just the same and then also bay put me on to these right here they're delicious blah, <laughs> delicious fudge strip fudge strips shortbread cookies and i had these and i was just like oh my gosh oh my gosh these are good and the great value is good too so you don't have to spend so much money on the name brand one because it tastes just the same um also got some of my favorite gum which is the extra spearmint i was looking for some um winter fresh but i couldn't find it so i went ahead and got this and of course i love to buy my method gum but it's somehow gotten ex expensive and very pricey $3.98 I believe it was and I was like uh uh so I got this um I think these were like a dollar and something a piece so I got those so I was like I could get two of those and they are 15 sticks in each pack and so I can get those and be okay put them in my purse and go um so with the method gum I always put it in ziplock bags and take it in my purse and that just causes so much drama in my in my uh backpack purse so um yeah i'm just glad i found these for the low um and then i get our favorite chips um they didn't have the crinkly kind of barbecue chips that i wanted ladies barbecue chip wavies that's what they're called um so we normally just get sweet southern heat barbecue because that tastes really really good and then this is my all-time favorite is the honey barbecue those are my favorite and i'll just put them in like i really need to grab some of the snack size chip bags because i'm gonna start taking my lunch to uh work and if you guys are interested in me um showing you guys what i take my like high prep and stuff like that for my lunch for work i'll definitely show you guys um and then so for my fall um my little fall bacon haul thing or whatever um for me and my son to do we got some great value pumpkin spice quick bread and muffin mix so with this you just add um you just add water egg and oil and you have some quick bread so i cannot wait to make this i'm probably going to make like a orange frosting to go on top um or diy orange frosting to go on top but i am so excited and then it has like these other recipes at the back too as well so it just has the the recipes for the the muffins and then it has the uh recipe for the quick bread as well so you can follow that or you can do it make it or you know diy it your own whatever you want to do i'm sure you can make like little donuts with those um so for the dry items i have just some uh two 
things of honey wheat bread, Sara Lee honey wheat bread. I did opt for the great value honey wheat bread, but I guess that they were out. And then I got some hot dog buns, the little great value, and then some burger buns. So over here, we're almost done because I really need to get to going. Um, I did wanted to try this um, Morrison's Texas style yellow cornbread mix um, because it just looks so good and it was cheap I think it was like 50 some cents so I said let us try that and I could just add like my honey into it because I do add honey into um, uh, my cornbread um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out but Morrison's did have like this biscuit mix that my mom used to make all the time when she makes salmon croquettes of uh, fried potatoes rice it was just so good like my mom and when I was pregnant with my son she used to make that all the time because that's all I wanted her to make was the Morrison's biscuits but I don't know I can't find it every Walmart I go in they don't have it so maybe they discontinued it um, but we used to just like load up on those um, those biscuit packets so I'm glad to have found their cornbread mix. So hopefully their, their cornbread mix is as good as their biscuit mix. Um, and then I got this Instapot Mississippi Roast. I know it's an Instapot, but I'm going to be using my crock pot with this. I hope that it doesn't like do anything too crazy. But I think it's just mixed, so you can just put it in whatever. But it just says like a Instant Pot, Instapot. Oh, and it says slow cooker ready too as well. So I'm really happy that I did get that but this is the McCormick Instapot Mississippi Roast I do have a, a pot roast in there that I really need to cook and you know get that going have a dinner with that I got two classic ranches because you got to put one ranch inside of there as well both the Mississippi uh, pot roast and then I have two brown gravy uh, mixes from great value as well uh, so that goes with the pot roast as well then also I have I and mean, these are just pantry items that I have. I forgot to mention um, the Louisiana fish fry seasoned bread breading mix. And this is like family fave right here. This is like the business, okay? When it comes to fried catfish, like this is so good. Um, and you can add your own seasonings or you can just eat it alone and it's really good, good. I'm not suggesting you eat this mix. I'm saying put it, coat it on your fish and then eat your fish when your fish is done. I'm just saying but this is a New Orleans uh, style uh, fish fry if you were wondering um, and then I got the Louisiana uh, seasoning crispy chicken chicken batter mix this is really good it's spicy but they do have one that's not spicy as well but this is so freaking good this is another family fave here um, well not for my mom but for me and my family um, this is another family fave because you like a little spice I did get some uh, uh, russet potatoes the regular ones the Walmart brand but he brought these uh, ranch tin in Texas non GMO ranch can russet um, and so I can't wait to try these because these are a Texas brand and y'all know I'm from Texas <laughs> so um, I got great value pasta stuff here um, which is pantry as well actually I'm going too fast I'm going too fast I'm just worried about my son but I'm going too fast and I'm skipping over a lot of products here so behind here I have some Prego traditional um, sauce here both of these these are really good babe put me onto these this right here um, will go the pepperoncinis will go with the roast pot roast and then um, I'm sure babe will eat the rest of them because he loves anything pepperish I did get some more mustard, um, just regular mustard, some organic tomato ketchup, which was on sale, so I got two of those. Sometimes it's hard to find the organic ketchup on sale, but when you do, definitely grab it. I got some great value. I normally try to eat the other baked beans that I normally, let me see if I have some. <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Excuse me. Um... But there's some other baked beans that I like to eat, um, but they've been getting a little bit up there. I remember that when they were like 99 cents, then it was a dollar, and now they're like two dollars. So, uh, with great value with the Walmart beans, baked beans, they were only like a dollar. Um, and so I went ahead and grabbed two of them, two flavor, different flavors. I would definitely mix them. Um, this is the original baked beans. It has a uh, what it says season with uh bacon and brown sugar and basically this is the same because this is maple cured bacon baked beans so this is um 
especially especially uh seared bacon and a touch of maple syrup so we can we can mix these you know um when we have our little barbecue thing going on here i'll mix these up or i'll just we'll try both of them and see which one we like um, then I got some, I thought I bought the baby sweet relish, but he wound up bringing me the bigger sweet relish. This is like the, uh, a four ounce. Um, so he brought this one, um, and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad about it because we go through relish here like crazy. Oh, hot dogs, potato salad, like we go through relish like crazy. So I did, um, wanted to try the great value complete pancake and waffle mix um, and this is in a buttermilk and it says just add water for pancake and this is what we need because adding milk and eggs and all that stuff is just too much and I was really excited to see that just add water <laughs> so I can't wait to dive into that and make it let's see if it has any recipes so we have a recipe at the back for chocolate chip pancakes which is really easy you just make the pancakes how you make them add the chocolate chips at the top turn it over flip it you know and there you go chocolate chip pancakes and then we have buttermilk waffles if you don't have a waffle urn um, at your house definitely grab one at Walmart because I did and it was like $10 or maybe even like $14. That's not bad for a waffle urn. A great quality one. Um, if you're especially you're not trying to spend a lot. <laughs> and so I did grab some of the butter flavored syrup as well. And it's in great values. Because I wanted to go definitely with the uh, the waffles or the pancakes that we make. Um, what else we have? Okay, so we have... Uh, how many we have? Two... No salted, that's what I wanted. No salt added, golden sweet whole kernel of corn. Um, and then this one actually was supposed to be in um, uh, cream style corn, but I will definitely see how I can make it sweet, uh, cream style corn. I haven't had cream style corn since I was young, y'all. Like my mom, she used to make it, and it was so freaking good. And I wanted to just go back down memory lane because I just hadn't had it so long, but I'm a little, you know. Um, not upset, not sad, but just a little move that I didn't get my, you know, my cream sour corn. But I'll check on the recipe and see how to make that. But he did just grab me one of these golden sweet whole corn, uh, kernel corns, which is okay. This one might have, like, salt added. Um, so, I don't know. I know we try to get everything none salt. Um, also, he grabbed me no salt added green beans um, that are already cut and some cut Italian green beans because these are my favorite. Um, and then, yeah. So what I do with these, just a little secret. I um, go to, and I'm trying to find me a food saver, um, a food saver machine that's on the low, that's cheap on Amazon or if I find it in store I'm just on the hunt for it because what I do is people say don't eat your your vegetables in a can blah 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 well what they don't know is that you know you can take the vegetables out of the can just like the ones that are frozen you can take the ones out of the can put them in a strainer wash them really 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 good put them in a bowl add your own seasoning if you have a food saver a food saver ziploc bag whatever you have on hand put it in the ziploc bag my mom my mom taught me add a little water at the bottom because you already have that just that water in there put them in the freezer zip it up really tight put it in the freezer let it freeze if you need it go in there and grab it put it in the pan cut the stove on put you some butter and there you go you don't have to worry about adding water to your vegetables when you already have water inside of your vegetables from when you pre washed it and then make sure you season it really good to your liking um add onion all that good stuff and you're good to go um now on to the pasta because we was just here but onto the pasta i did get some more spaghettis i really didn't even check and see my spaghetti stash over here but you know it's looking you know it's looking good but i'm gonna go ahead and add these to there them because i don't want to run out um, I did get some jumbo pasta shells because I am going to be making basically the, um, I'm not sure what is it called. What is it called? 
uh pasta noodle bake i don't know it's a jumbo shell pasta noodle bake um and i'm gonna do it just like that i'm gonna stuff the shells Stuffed shell pastas, that's what it's called. So I'm going to stuff the shells and I'm going to put it in the oven and have a meal, like one pot meal. And I'm going to have some garlic bread with it. And then also I got some of the Great Value Deluxe Mac and Cheese Original Cheddar. When I tell you guys, this tastes really good and made with real cheddar cheese. So you don't have to worry about that. It tastes so good and it also looks like the box. So if you're a Velveeta fan like I was... And like I say, you're on some kind of budget and you're saving up for something like me. I'm saving up for my business. I'm saving up for a car. I'm saving up for apartment. The, the most things that I really need, you know, um, and I'm saving up for my, my son's, you know, future, um, when he gets older. And so that's main one right there. <laughs> And so, um, when you're on the budget, like a, a short budget like my, like me, like all this stuff costs $130, $38. And when you can, you know what I'm saying? Like if you go to a regular store and you spend $138, you're going to leave out with 67 bags. This right here, I had like at least 14 bags full of groceries from Walmart. So Walmart is cheaper than other stores. I will give them that. Um, and then their, 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 uh, their food brand is okay like it is is good like i'm not complaining because i love walmart brand um now i've run across some of their brands that didn't taste good but i knew to stay away from you won't never know unless you try so like i say if you're on a budget sister bro walmart walmart their brand is good and so i got walmart brand peppers and onions it has yellow onion red peppers green peppers and so, if you're having for heat at night, or you just want to add this to your baked chicken, like I do, it's easy. You don't have to worry about standing up, cutting on cutting board, onions and stuff like that, wasting time. They call it a 25 to 30 minute meal for a reason. Ain't nobody got time to be standing up, waiting, <laughs> or cutting or dicing and stuff like that. Unless you really, really just love doing that and you really like doing it. Sometimes I do like doing it and sometimes I don't, especially when I'm coming home from work and I know I need to put a meal on the stove. It is not, it's not healthy for me, okay? It is not good for my health, no. <laughs> but yeah, if I have some onion in there that I know I need to get rid of or bell peppers, then yes, this one, I definitely will go ahead and chop. I used to make this by myself on like, put in a Ziploc bag um, and make this by the same stuff. Put some, this is what I used to do, put some of the parsley flakes in there um, and then also season up with a little bit of season and put it in a ziploc bag let it get hard when it's time for you to cook it just throw it out and put it in your uh, your food and you ain't got to worry about adding extra season to anything um so that's another tip if you want to go ahead and make this homemade and put your own little season in it uh that would be best too as well because it'll save you some money but you still have to buy the products um separately so you have to think about that uh, as far as buying this i would definitely be putting because i do it all the time i put my own seasoning uh, my own like little herb seasoning and then i put like my louisiana seasoning i'll season it real good put it in a ziploc bag put it in the freezer because it saves room um i normally break down a lot of things uh in my freezer because my freezer is so small but i did get some corn on the cob as well and this is great value and it's really really good uh and this stuff is just for the freezer then i got and it's for the fridge and then we're almost done um i got some diced hash brown potatoes um i did get the great value brand but they were out so he got me these and then i got some extra crispy fast food fries because oh my gosh you guys we went to that barbecue spot and they had these same fries that lady told me that it was just these fries and i was just like so in love with them and so either put them in the oven or fry them on the stove they're good either way i did get some red baron classic crust um four cheese pizza i did i opt to get um red baron's brick style pizza but they were out so we we're going to just have to deal with this you can razzle dazzle put vegetables on it you can put this on top of the pizza and it is really good um and then just put some extra cheese on top and it's so good you guys but we don't really buy red barons we either buy DiGiorno or we'll buy um What's that other pizza called? Um, it's a cheaper pizza that everybody always buy. But we buy, like we'll buy a couple of those. 
but red barons was like one of those you know one of those extra expenses that you know when we have pizza night family night uh, we can have this on hand um there that one goes so the cheese piece was supposed to be looking like this crust right here but it looks like that but it looks good um so we did get the red barons brick oven uh crust pepperoni um pizza so we got that we got two of those this box is kind of like I said he had it in the back of his car and because he had some more stuff in the front seat in in the back seat of his car so our stuff was in the back so that's okay it's it's not open it's just beat up a little bit then I got some great value fiesta blend cheese I got the one uh, lab four cups of cheese so basically it's four cups of cheese I got that because we run through cheese a lot then I got a big thing of 2% milk and I got my favorite juice, my favorite, favorite juice. I got me one and babe one um, because he really didn't try it last time. But I found this at, if you saw my my other grocery haul at Tom Thumb, um, you would have known that I had purchased this right here, Tropicana Caribbean Sunset Pineapple, I mean, pineapple Juice or Juice. It is so good, sis. Like, if you see these, definitely grab them. These are part of my roots. You guys, if you didn't know, I am part Caribbean. My granddad was a, uh, a islander. And so, um, like, I don't know what part or where he was from. I'm still digging deep. Um, but I know my heritage is islander. Um, and my grandmother, his mother, is Asian. So, we have a lot going on in our family. And so, I'm just like, I'm very like... You know, it's overwhelming when you find out what your heritage is. Heritage is. Um, and so, I'm just like, oh my goodness. And of course, I am, you know, American, uh, brown skin American. Um, so, <laughs> so yes, um, I'm just really stoked on my family heritage and finding out, like, we have other cultures in our family. Um, and so finding out that I want to definitely go ahead and try and find like try not find like but just try like different Caribbean foods and uh, the island foods and like you know um, since my grandmother was she was mixed Asian and black so um, I not yeah Asian and brown skin and so um, I wanted to find out you know I wanted to try food from her culture as well um so i'm starting i'm small i'm tall i'm starting to small <laughs> with the juice because yeah but as i get into it i would definitely be cooking more meals that are island you know island meals and stuff like that but anyways you guys i gotta go because oh wait a minute wait a minute we got two packs of water they didn't have the big water on hand so he grabbed me two of the small ones which is okay because they're the uh the grab and go bottles um and so yeah i got this um sam's choice waters and it's so weird because my mom called and talked to them about the sam's choice waters and why they didn't have sam chips waters and stuff like that and um after that like they just start having sam's choice water i don't know if it was my mom doing or her you know she laid something on their heart but uh they, they just been stocked with sam's choice water and stuff like that so um you know, it might have been her and somebody else that were um, complaining, or not complaining, but just, you know, uh, wanted to see what was going on with this water because this is our favorite water, okay? But anyways, you guys, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Bye!